Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In previous sessions, we had seen how to create a new project in Razor Pages and how to read the data and how to update the data. In today's session, we are going to perform delete operation in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So this is our uh, previous project. Click on the books. Here we are showing the list of books available in the database. And here we have provided one button to create a new book and here user can edit or the delete the books. So we have covered uh, this create new book functionality and edit book functionality. Uh, let me uh, click on delete whenever user clicks on this delete button it has to delete the book from database. For that we can go for the two approaches. One first approach will be whenever user clicks on the delete like this edit page so we can display the book details and uh, these text box controls can be disabled whenever user clicks on delete we can delete the entry from the database and we can redirect to the index page the second method we can go with the javascript approach whenever user clicks on delete button we will show the confirmation box like either this book need to delete or not. Once user clicks on OK, that book will be deleted and this list will be updated dynamically. So we can go with the second approach. I don't want to implement new page for this. Whenever user clicks on this delete button, I'll show the JavaScript alert message. Once user clicks on OK, we are going to delete that book from the database. Uh, let me close this go to the solution explorer here we have the different pages this is the index page where we are showing the book list and this is the create page where we can create new book and the edit page where we can update the existing book details let me go to the index cs html page here we are going to implement the delete functionality Here I am going to post the data to the form that is why I am creating a form here and method will be post so here I need to give the page handler so I can pause delete Here we have to provide the primary key ID for the deletion. I'll give as ID. Here we will get from book dot ID. So this is the post method we are doing. Uh, let me close this after this deletion tag whenever user submits we need to show the javascript alert message for that i'll use on submit Here I am going to pause the message. This is the message which I am going to show to the end user to confirmation. Once user is confirmed, this will be deleted. This can be removed. I can make this as a button now. I can give class for this.
this is the button text. Now, I need to implement this post action method. Whenever user is clicks on this delete, this JavaScript alert will be displayed. And once user is clicks on OK, this record need to delete. For that, I will go to the CS page where we need to write the functionality to delete the record. Here, I will write the method to delete the data. I am making as asynchronous method here. On post, I want to delete this. So, this is a asynchronous method. Here, we need to pass the ID to delete the data. I need ID here, it's a integer. Let me pause ID. Now, here based on this ID, based on this ID, I can get the book details. First, I need to check whether this ID is valid or not. For that, I am going to use context dot books. So, we can find by ID say async method I am pausing the ID here. Now, based on this ID I will get the book. If this book is null I am going to return as not found. So, if book is null then there is no record with that ID in say invalid book ID. If it is available then I am going to remove that book from the database. I will use the context here it is a database context I will try to remove the book. Here I need to save the database context. Finally, I am going to return this page. It will redirect to the index page again. Let me build this solution. there is no error. Let me run this application. Here we need to adjust this button alignment. Let me go here. I will add the style it's display. I will make it as inline. Let me say, so it is showing correctly. Here we can see two records available in the database as well. We are showing these two entries from the UI. Let me try to delete this entry. Click on delete. We are showing the confirmation message here. Let me cancel. This record will not be deleted. Let me try again. This time I am clicking on OK instead of cancel click on OK. This data has been deleted from the database. Let me see here. Data has been deleted. Let me try with this entry again. Click on OK. Data has been deleted. Currently, we do not have any books in the database. Likewise, we can implement the delete functionality in Razor pages. That is it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.